Well, in 2021, the trumpeter Terrence Blanchard became the first African-American composer ever to have a work stage at the Metropolitan Opera House. Another piece he wrote called Champion opened there earlier this month. He's also been nominated for an Oscar twice, thanks to his work on Spike Lee's movies. And now he's gone back to school recently in Harlem. Entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon is here to explain. Sandy. Lauren, Terrence Blanchard is never too busy to give back and tells young people to Never forget those who help you succeed. We met him again at the Harlem School of the Arts, where he came to inspire the next generation of musicians. It's been said that you should never get so old you forget to grow young. If I could help any of these kids be inspired about being, being a musician or creating their own music, I, you got to do it. Terrence Blanchard came to the Harlem School of the Arts to give a master class in jazz. Talent is the seed. The only thing that really gets you there is the work. Talent gets you in the door. Work keeps you there. One great trumpeter plays in a room donated by another so that a younger generation can be mentored as they once were. Him doing the master class here just further reinforces the different pathways our students can take to achieving artistic excellence. Since we first met HSA student Walter Russell III a couple of years ago, the young man has starred on Broadway and been featured in an opera composed by Terrence Blanchard, Fire Shut Up In My Bones. Being back here where I started a couple years ago is, is kind of like coming around full circle. Walter told me this school has meant so much to him and to so many others who learn from the masters here. I think the main thing is to show them that I'm just like them. I'm no different than them. I had the same level of anxiety, the same level of fear about what was going to happen in my future. The founder of HSA imagined a place where young people could make beauty in their own community. And the world-class facility is attracting the world's most talented artists to come to Harlem to mentor all these young people. The organization has been recently energized by the arrival of a dynamic new president, James C. Horton, who you heard from in our story. Personally, I look forward to telling many more stories in that one special place, <laughs> David Long. We look forward to hearing them, Sandy. Thanks.